Hello and welcome to Street Stocks at Southern National. Because you know we couldn't get through week 13 without some... Week 13, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, we are... Gonna see how this goes. It actually wasn't so bad last time. I think I did it last week 13. And it actually wasn't so bad. And I'm feeling like I've uh, got the handle on it a little bit better this time, which is cool. I'm hoping uh, I can have a little bit better of a result. I am the number one, unfortunately. Which I'm not sure if it's because I fell down to second split or if I really was the highest I rating to join up. But uh, either way, I don't like being the number one, that's for sure. But it looks like that first lap is going to be the best we can do. There's the flag. It's over. So far so good, I guess. That was an all-time best, which is cool. It was actually an all-time optimal. I think the track temp much must be uh, more favorable than it was in the practice session at a time, because I didn't feel like it did anything too crazy. Just hit my marks. We'll see what it is. I've been using uh, this line to turn in. It's like, uh, I guess the third from whenever before the corner. <laughs> That's where I've been turning in. I don't know if that makes any sense, but hopefully you see what I'm looking at. Turn in and let off the gas there. Roll the bottom and so you can get back onto the gas or halfway through. I usually pull it pretty hard to the left too to kind of get it on the back right tire. And hopefully that'll help us have long run speed too. You can't really get this thing sideways as far as I know. I mean, I'm trying, basically. Anyway, I guess if I really... No, you can't keep it sideways. <laughs> that like yanked it to the left really hard with the throttle down, seeing if I could get it sideways and I couldn't really do it. So. Hey, nice. We got that done real quick. We got P2. All right. Would have preferred P1 because now we're in the worst spot. I hate starting P2, especially on the outside. Man, he really had to go and do that to me, huh? By uh, five one thousandths. Oh well. Hopefully we'll get down to the bottom soon enough. We'll only have a nice race. Maybe it won't be so messy. Line up on the like I said, last time it wasn't so bad. Right now. So I'm pushing my luck this time. Street stocks at uh, Southern National. I just, I really like this track. I don't know what it is. I'm not particularly good here. And it's not like I've been here a bunch of times or anything. I just, I really like this track. It's, uh, I really enjoy the high banking. It's just fun to drive, so. Wanted, uh, wanted to drive something, and there's limited options here on week 13, so. Here I am. Hopefully it'll be a good run. I liked everyone uh, qualified real quick. They were super chatty in the practice session, and now they're all quiet, so I don't know what the deal is that with that. I guess now it's go time. Oh god, we've got Ricky Bobby behind us, so they're probably going to run us over and kill us. That's fun. I might be able to hold on a little bit in the second lane, but it's going to be a dangerous place to be with guys probably drifting up into me, so I'm going to want to get to the bottom ASAP. Good luck, everyone. Scary. I don't think there's cautions. I'm pretty there's sure it's... Caution, right? Yeah, we're going to find out. The track nope. temp is no cautions. The so I thought. So. Unfortunately, not. not. P2. Uh, this is P2. We never get a lap in if there were cautions. Well, mate, luckily we're all top split. If we were low lowest split, it would be shambles. It's going to be shambles. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't think that's going to make a difference. Well, I usually never race with Kappa Kai's. I usually race like the uh, uh, X-Gen A-Clad. Okay. Now they're chatty. Now they're chatty. They're not running. <laughs> Go figure. This guy all over the place pacing. Well, I think that was a lot of the guy that was wrecking last round. 
You don't have to fit for new tires in the seat. Oh my gosh. You get a lot of people that are brand new to like oval racing on week 13 too, I've noticed. Oh, okay. So. Can this guy pace normal, please? Like, that could be any room. He's being goofy and get being... Ready. Going green. Car is in. Green, green, green. Pit road is now open. Sweet. Got down to the bottom. That's what I like to see. Let's not get run over. Oh, uh, we got something slow already. That's interesting. Just gonna try to hit my marks. P3, the leader has just done a 15.7. The guy behind has just done a 15.8. The car in front lap time is a 15.7. I really could have, that start went just about as well as I could have hoped. Getting down to the bottom right away. I mean, there is a potential outcome where I end up right behind the leader, but that didn't seem likely, so I'm happy with ending up P3 here. I'm not saving tires or anything, I'm kind of relying on trying to be on the right rear in order to quote unquote save tires. That's how I'm saving tires, I guess. So I'm hoping that uh, that'll work out. Though if I remember correctly, didn't it get the right rear actually cause it to get looser later in the run last time I did this? I guess we'll find out if it does anything at all. Uh, we got some distance behind us. I like that. A little high up on the track there. Not perfect. Slack some laps. Hopefully this lap car won't be too much of an issue. I assume they must have gotten wrecked in some way. Because they don't seem that off pace that we should have caught them this quick. So they probably got sideways at some point. Number five's kind of getting pitched a little bit in front of us. Maybe having some issues. Must be using some brakes. I'm actually not using brakes at all. I'm, you know, doing that hard pull to the left and letting off right there. Just rolling the center and then getting back on. Once we're comfortable enough through the corner. I kind of experimented with using a little bit of brake to get rotated, but I found it wasn't necessary. I found out that, uh, for me anyway, it was more likely to be another thing that I didn't do quite right. And, uh... Take it over here inside, not Just another thing I don't have to worry about if I, uh, take this line, so... Hopefully we clear this guy before exit. Don't necessarily. I had to give my. I uh, had to give him room. But he was a good lap car. He did everything he needed to do. Let leaders by. I just happened to catch him at a not great spot. So we'll see how this thing pans out. Obviously these guys are quite fast, kind of losing a little bit, gain a little bit sometimes. I think we're good behind us for now, unless something with the car changes. It's kind of a weird corner. I think I turned in a little bit early, maybe. I just kept the standard 12 to 1 steering ratio. It seems to be working okay for me. Kind of helps to uh, straighten the wheel out on exit. 
So you're uh, not scrubbing off as much speed, it seems like. Like right when, when you get like right here, straightening out the wheel so you fade out to the wall. Found that helps me carry a little bit more speed sometimes. Well, most of the time. If I remember to do it, it helps me. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I think these guys are just a little bit better. A little bit more consistent with their lines and stuff. So we gotta hope they make a mistake or maybe get into each other. That might be my only chance to win this thing. But P3 is certainly not bad. Very happy with this. It's better than I did last time. Although I am the one car this time. I wasn't the one car last time, I don't think. But I do feel like I have better speed. I got a, you know, all-time best and all that in practice and then in the qualifying beforehand. So, got more speed than I did when I attempted this the time before. So, that's always good. Always good to feel progress. As we are past halfway at this point, and the car's still feeling pretty good. So, I'm enjoying that. It's all about just staying smooth and hitting the line. It's like. We have caught up a little bit to the five. Actually, to both of them. No idea if passing's even going to be possible, though. That's going to be a big ask. Okay, Colton. The lap times are pretty consistent. This guy apparently runs street stocks enough to give himself a custom paint with his name on it. <laughs> if I were to do that, I would do that for Marco or something. A series I frequent. Probably not street stocks. Week 13 is one of the few times I run these. Except for uh, last season, I think I did. I think it was last season. I did a Martinsville race because I just wanted to feel pain. <laughs> so that was a fun one. Arms are kind of hurting just because of how uh, how steady I'm trying to be. Time was at really keeping it intense. Hmm. They're not making any mistakes. This uh, five's getting sideways a little bit. No one's getting in the wall in front of us or anything. Oh, six went up the track a little bit. That might have lost him some time. Anything we're doing here is really getting these tiny mistakes. They're just shaving off thousands, probably. Got to be really precise. Not his bumper, but. I don't know if we're going to be able to do anything with it. Thank you. Ooh, if you get sideways, you might not have a choice. Great job. Game to go. Thank you. Hmm. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a run. I mean, I want to get alongside him. I don't want to dive it in on him, because that's probably going to wreck us both if I try doing that. That was a 16.2. Oh, he goes wide a little bit, but still not enough to go alongside him or anything. Here we go, here we go. Yes. Come on, let's do it. Still there, hold your line. Consistency. Keep Good the break. Go low. Oh. Still there, hold your line. The next car's the leader. Still there, so hold on. Of course. Being very careful not to get into him. Still there. Five laps to go. You 
just done a 16 foot. Very low. Four. Adjusting my line a little bit now that I'm on the inside. Stay low, do the car on the high side. This. You're back in second. Oh, we're almost there. Keep low. Clear, car outside. outside oh, we cleared clear. him. All right. Nice. That feels good. That, that feels like I accomplished something three. there. Oh, don't get in the wall. Don't run it. <laughs> so now we got one guy ahead of us, but we got uh, a lot of space. You've got two laps to go. So I'm us fighting side by side. So unless this lap card gets him or something, I'm not sure we have a chance. But that was pretty fun. White flag. One more lap to go. He's falling off. I guess maybe he had some right front Last tightness issues. I guess. Man, I feel like we're catching this guy too, but just ran out of time. So I wonder if I did file in in second behind him. Good win, six. Good race, five. Podium finish. Yeah, good race, guys. Good win, six. Chicken flag, chicken flag. I always feel like I'm surprised <laughs> by how fun these races are. I always end up going better than I expect, and that was actually pretty darn good. Alright. So six gets the win. We were able to uh, reclaim our starting position. <laughs> Repass the five. And uh, kept it zero X. And honestly, I didn't see too much. We got just a pair of four X's out there. That's it, so... 8190, so I was on the right front. But I think uh, maybe pitching it helped wear out the right rear a little bit more, too. It maybe helped me through the run, but I really don't know for sure. That's what I was trying to do in theory. Did it work? I don't know. Seems like we f fell off less than the five, at least. But So, let's see the start here. Just so hard to start on the outside, and he was, like, really... I guess he wasn't that close. He felt really close to me. And it was it's it's hard to see. Got an okay start, but of course the five's able to uh he's got the better view and the low side, so he's gonna be able to get past us. I think he get he gets past us nine times out of ten, if not more. Off the start there, so P three is really where you wanna start. I would think. But um that's the start. Let's see incidents now. Ricky Bobby, <laughs> the guy I was worried about. He didn't do anything but barely tap the wall there. He's got the 14 on the inside of him here who uh, clears himself. That was 14's fault. They both uh, keep going though. Didn't seem to do too much harm. That guy's just blinking. But the... Dale Jr. filter time scheme blinking out as well. Car number three back here. Just a tap of the wall. Number four and fourth. Oh, we're just getting some wall taps, is all. Ooh. 16 tapped from behind and maybe pressured a little bit and ended up in the wall. I was worried about the 16, but they've been the only one getting hit by people so far, <laughs> it feels like. So three's gonna brush their wall, I assume. Not where I expected him to do it, but it did happen. This guy's been blinking. Nine. Shoots the wall. Blinky guy. Four is way up into the wall. Wow, that thing's not turning anymore at all. Wow, that's it, huh? I swear that's the cleanest street stock race I've ever seen. <laughs> I think that might be the record cleanest street stock race there ever was. I love it. Man, this car could be fun if it's not just a huge mess with a caution every three seconds. I like that. That was a that was that was pretty great. I wanna go back and watch uh, the pass I made. So 
We are back here. It looks like he got sideways and just got tight on exit right there. And he was doing that a couple more times. I think uh, maybe his right front was hurting a little bit more than ours. And here's really where we get the run. We get the nose on him enough to get the call. And I want to evaluate how much room I gave him. Because I know I probably give too much usually. Because I can't see very well. But I'd rather give too much than too little, you know. So especially on exit, it looks like I could be fading out a little bit farther. And I think I do start pushing the envelope a little bit. Once we uh, get a little farther here. Yeah, getting pretty close there. It almost looked like he was going to get back around me for a minute. There, I had a good run off compared to him. Never really got all too close. It was a great battle. He gave room. I tried to give him room as well. We had a pretty good, uh, I think that was a pretty good clean pass. I feel pretty good about that. Ooh, I turned in kind of late there, though. Oh, yeah, I pinched him a little bit on entry. That wasn't intentional. That is something people will do intentionally sometimes to get a pass done, but I did not even do that intentionally. I just uh, was trying to get as wide of an entry as I could, and I think I pushed it a little bit too far, but we did not make contact. I was able to get the pass done. That explains how I was able to get past him so, so far. Thank you to him for not just turning into me. Is that... Kind of would have been my fault, because I didn't turn in into <laughs> the corner in time. But uh, we got it done. And then, uh, well, the person who loved it most was the Six, because he watched us battle for long enough, and uh, watched the clock tick down on the end of this race, and they got the win, so. All right, that was awesome. That was actually a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that, like I said, so I hope you enjoyed too. That was uh, the cleanest street stock race I think I've ever been a part of. I <laughs> uh, hope you have a good rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.